In my three minute laugh, I'm going to convince you that by understanding how platelets drive, we survive. Platelets are like tiny Formula One cars racing around our body in the blood. Think of a great Formula One driver, like the great Max Verstappen. Great drivers like Max win races by driving safely, observing the environment and reacting to changes. Platelets do something similar. If you cut yourself, for example, platelets react by racing to the injury to prevent excessive bleeding. Sadly, not all Formula One drivers are as good as the great Max Verstappen. Some have real trouble getting around corners and constantly crash into walls. Sometimes platelets are bad drivers too and crash into blood vessel walls. Picture a pile of cars at the side of the road. This is exactly what happens in the blood when platelets drive badly. Like crashed cars at the side of the road, crashed platelets block blood getting to the heart or brain, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. Regular exercise appears to enhance protection against platelet crashes, helping platelets to drive more safely and more like the great Max Verstappen. Now, how this works is not fully understood. Prostacyclin, which is a chemical made by blood vessel walls, um, sends a message to platelets instructing them to remain calm and not to crash. This is like a yellow flag in a Formula One race, which signals to drivers to remain cautious. There is evidence that this message is understood better by platelets from individuals that exercise regularly compared to those that don't. To try and understand this, what I do is isolate platelets from the blood of volunteers who are regularly active and those who aren't. I put the platelets in a test tube and this is like a special track where platelets are constantly moving and rotating with lots of opportunities to crash. I make the platelets do a practice lap in perfect conditions and check how likely they are to crash. I introduce a yellow flag by adding the chemical prostacyclin and I put the platelets back into the test tube track and check if the platelets from the trained volunteers are more like Max and understand the prostacyclin message better than the platelets from the untrained volunteers. My next step is to understand what separates Max's car from the rest. Like any good mechanic, I pull on my overalls and look inside the platelet car. I dismantle the platelets piece by piece and check whether crash protection features, which are specific proteins which help platelets interpret the prostacyclin message, are increased or decreased in my two groups of platelet cars, those that are regularly active and those that aren't. By the end of my study, I will understand the changes associated with exercise which help platelets to drive more like the great Max Verstappen, to drive so we survive.